The editor cursor surrounding line setting lets you configure when the viewport should start scrolling when the cursor approaches the top or the bottom. To demonstrate this, let's first look at VS Code's default behavior. So here I have my cursor, and notice that the scrolling only starts when the cursor hits the bottom edge of the viewport here. So when I'm at the bottom edge, the scrolling happens when I hit the down arrow key, and when I go up, the scrolling only starts when I hit the top edge. Now I'm pressing the up arrow key, and that's when the scrolling is started. Now what the editor cursor surrounding line setting lets us do is actually configure a specific number of lines below the top of the viewport or above the bottom of the viewport where that scrolling should start. So let's go configure that. I'm going to open the settings with control comma or command comma on Mac. I'm going to put these to the side of my current file. And let's go cursor lines. We want the editor cursor surrounding line setting here. And this is a number value. And again, it's the number of lines below the top of the viewport or above the bot bottom of the viewport where the scrolling should start. So let's go set this to five. And now when I actually start moving through the file, notice I'm moving downwards with my cursor here. The scrolling actually starts five lines above the bottom of the view viewport here. So the cursor is still five lines above the bottom of the viewport. When I move up, scrolling starts uh, five lines below the top of the viewport. Now we could increase this to 10 if we wanted to as well. Now the scrolling will start a whole lot earlier. Note that this doesn't affect when you actually place the cursor somewhere. So if I go and I click somewhere, the cursor will still be um, right at the top of the viewport. It doesn't scroll then. But when I actually use the arrow keys to navigate around, um, it does respect this editor cursor surrounding line setting. So that's editor cursor surrounding lines.